It's Debra, Debra, she seems really nice. Hi, and welcome to today's show of Cooking with Deb. I'm Debra Westenhauser, and today we are just going to bake up some delicious Easter treats. So go ahead and throw out those nasty peeps in the trash where they belong, because we're going to make something delicious. So for our first treat, we're going to make a super cute bunny cake. So if you remember the Valentine's Day episode when we started with two square cakes, this episode, we're going to start with two circle cakes. What could we possibly make out of two circle cakes? <laughs> so, I already pre-made the cakes. You can use your box mix or your grandma's favorite recipe. It doesn't matter. Cake is cake. So, we have the two circle cakes. One's full, and then one I already cut into these little ovals to kind of resemble a bunny ear. I just did it by eye, but if you feel like you need to do a little cutout design, you are more than welcome to do that. Better safe than sorry. Okay, so we're going to move this on this so I can have a good workplace to work with. Take my little pieces, and we're just going to put those there, like the little bunny ears. And then this becomes a little cute bow tie. Oh my goodness, it's already shaping out to be something so adorable. Now is the fun part. We get to make the frosting and decorate it. Ooh. So just like last time, we are gonna make our frosting. You just use some butter, some vanilla, a lot of heavy cream, and some powdered sugar. Got some super simple frosting. If you want a super treat that's sweet to eat, super simple cooking with Deb today. Perfect. Save these for later. Oh my. So first we're gonna go ahead and ice the, the full circle where the bunny's face is gonna be and his little ears. We're gonna do that with the white frosting. Little Easter bunny full full. Little bunny full full. Hopping through the four. Yeah. Scooping up the field. Nice young puppy I'm on the head. Bop bop. If you want a super treat that's sweet to eat, super simple cooking with Deb today. I need one of those fancy spatulas that smooths it over super easily. But that's okay because a lot of people don't even have most of those fancy utensils. So I like to do these things for the, for the normal household. What we normally got is a spatula and a little bit of love. <laughs> if you want a super treat that's sweet to eat, Super simple cooking with Deb today. Okay, so now we have our super cute pink frosting, and we're just gonna put it on the little inner part of his ears. Make him really look like a cute little bunny rabbit. Not like those creepy ones they have looking at the mall. Oh my! Those are scary. No, this guy's gonna be adorable. If you want a super treat that's sweet to eat, super simple cooking with Deb today. Oh, so cute. Oh, we're gonna give him a little dollop for his little nose. You know, he has a pink little nose. Probably got that sniffles. Oh. All right, now the tricky part. We gotta put those eyes on there. Now I'm gonna put a disclaimer, I am not an artist. Oh my goodness, I'll tell you one thing, I'm really good at drawing stick figures, don't ya know? But that's not too bad, okay. He's looking pretty nice. Okay, I gotta concentrate guys. Oh, this is, this is tough, but not too tough. That's why I gotta do these super simple recipes. If you know I can do it, you sure can do it. Drawing his little whiskers. His whiskers, they're a little uneven, but that's okay. He'll still taste delicious. Don't you worry now. Now he's almost done. Now we just need to color his cool little bow tie. You can do the bow tie any color you want. I personally think it'd be cute if he just got a little purple bow tie. Oh, it's so spring and festive. I love it. If you want a super treat that's sweet to eat, Super simple cooking with Deb today. Just spread it on there. Oh yes, he is going to look so fancy for Easter Sunday. If you want a super treat that's sweet to eat, super simple cooking with Deb today. Color indentation, really just make it pop. 
Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this adorable bunny. Oh my, he is just ready for Easter. So for our second treat, we're going to make empty tomb rolls. I'm doing something a little special because all of the bunnies and the Easter eggs, they're all good and fun, but we need to really remember what Easter is truly about. And it's fine whatever religion you decide that you want to practice, whether you're Christian or Muslim or Catholic, whatever you may be, that is just all good and great as long as you're good to people. So for today, we're going to do a fun treat that's also a good learning lesson for children and adults alike. So what you're going to need is some crescent rolls, some marshmallows, a little bit of butter, and some cinnamon sugar. Super simple and super easy. So before we start, we're just going to spray our little muffin pan. So the marshmallow is going to be Jesus Christ. After he was crucified, he was wrapped in linens. And we're going to resemble that for the butter because they are the finest linens and the sugar and he was wrapped ever so carefully, and then he was placed in the tomb. And the tomb was sealed for three days, or 13 to 15 minutes at about 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So on the third day, they opened the tomb, and they found that it was empty. So I love doing this little treat because it's just a little reminder during this Easter holiday about what we're really supposed to be celebrating. And that's Christ dying for our sins and being resurrected. And that the tomb is now empty and that he lives. So thank you for watching today's show of Cooking with Deb. I hope you found these treats to be super fun and super simple to do for your Easter holiday weekend. Thanks for watching. Oh my goodness, it's like looking in a little mirror, isn't it? <laughs> we got our special little taste tester in the kitchen today, don't we now? Yes, we do. Nom, 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 nom. I just might eat her up instead. <laughs>